Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today we're going to play the Gypsy Waltz. <laughs> Gypsy Waltz was a request both from Annette and for Pamela and I have to say this is a bit of a mystery because I'm, I'm pretty sure that this is not originally a Gypsy Waltz. I think it was, it's mostly now played as a Texas contest tune and I suspect it was probably written um, early 20th century uh, for that purpose by someone in America. Um, but it certainly has the feel of a Gypsy Waltz. It's the kind of thing that you might have heard on the album by David Grisman with Stefan Grappelli, that wonderful album. Um, but it's not on there, and, um, but it's very much in that style. I'm going to play through the, the tune um, just as it's written, and then I'll give you a few ideas about how you might augment it. And to finish off, I'll do a bit of an improvisation on it. So, we're in the key of G minor. And we've got quite a few little chromatic bits and triplets. So we start off with. Okay, so this is the um, first rundown. Third finger, second finger, second finger, first finger. So if you're not familiar with that pattern, then you're going to have to practice that and do it all in one slur. Again. This is a, a triplet going up the arpeggio. That is a D flat. Uh, you could do it with your second finger. I would prefer to do it with my third finger, bring it, bring it down. Then it comes up again for that. Chromatic run going down towards the E flat, so it's three, three, two, two, one. Second finger sliding up to the C sharp. Uh, the one double stop in this version is uh, G with a D under it. Three trill, three triplets. So that's three, two, three, two, three, two. Crossing strings, four, three, two. Let's do all of that but with the backing. Now this tune really benefits from some more double stops, so let's just see what's available. Uh, this is part of the scale of sixths, which I'm going to use quite a lot, um, and I do have a video explaining all that. So basically, it's that kind of scale where 
the, the scale is going up and below it, uh, a sixth down, um, the scale is also going up. And by learning that you can harmonize really quickly. But I wouldn't do it to every note. That works nicely with the A with a C below it. Now this uh, for the G. Open G, open D, B flat, G. Uh, now you've got to be careful with this. This is a G diminished. Um, so uh, you could harmonize it with a third finger playing a, a G. Just going back to the G diminished. Uh, uh, a diminished chord is made up of the root followed by a whole load of minor thirds. So if you're harmonising or improvising with that, you've got to know exactly what's happening there. So. Um, and you can put a B flat under that G. flat chord, you know, put a G under the E flat. You can hold that D under the next two notes. being used a lot as a Texas contest tune, I suspect there are some uh, much flashier uh, sets of double stops available. Um, but I've just recently learned it and I haven't found anything better than this so far. But anyway, uh, if you would like a copy of the dots for this then do subscribe and send me an email. If you would like um, to join me on Patreon that would very much help to keep these videos coming. Um, I will play you out uh, with three times round. I'll play once the melody and then I'll improvise and I'll finish off with something close to the melody again. Thanks for watching, I'll see you again soon.